Yo, it's your boy Philippe Peck. Mickey so low, P I F paid in full, yeah. Yeah, stay hooked onto Nouvelle Live. Hi, what's up, people? This is Andy, the Royal Highness, and you're listening to Nouvelle Live. Hey, yo, hey, yo, you're now listening to Hip Hop Uganda Live with your boy, truly, Sean. Home for Ugandan hip hop, hosted by yours truly, Sean. Sean. Yes. Kuvira dala mchibuga kampara city. Saint Nelly said, "Kapo bide kubiti eno." Yangu mos. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Anonymous. You to complex most official, and you're listening to Hip Hop Uganda on Nuve Live. Hey yo, it's your boy Brown Wade, Christian Rapper, and my music plays a new life show. The only show that plays plays hip hop from Uganda. Don't go away, away. Good music straight away, away. You're now listening to another episode of the New Zealand Podcast Hip Hop Uganda Live. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, people? Welcome to the New Zealand Podcast Hip Hop Uganda Live, and I'm Sean, your host. This is another episode, and uh, much appreciation to everyone who downloaded the podcast last week the previous episode right and here, maybe right also you who has just gotten this make sure to get episode one to episode six i mean this is episode six already episode one to five yeah this is another episode and welcome to episode six i'm showing your host uh last week i didn't really have so much to discuss no, because I didn't want to. I only had to postpone it. I just wanted us to go back in time and listen to Ugandan music. And when you when you follow uh, closely, I selected a number of tracks that uh, are quite lyrical and then sort of have a, a message that they are presenting over to us. And so me calling it the listening party was uh, a way of... Uh, appreciating our music and and giving back to 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 our community and creating a sense of uh, us liking the message most in most cases a few people pay attention to lyrics one thing that i am i'm very certain of is rap rap could be uh relevant with uh, with maybe some somehow lyrics that are quite light but you see when you say rap rap is the element that uh, makes up the other five and rap is about the voice the message the talk about it now if that is ignored and then somehow the the music might not be so relevant but rap is uh, it's not so bigger than what hip-hop is hip-hop is the bigger picture here and uh yeah, the, the mix that I gave you, I hope you liked it. It was something of uh, devotion to the listening ear. I wanted to awaken that. And originally, when we started doing this podcast, we used to do a number of great mixes, which you liked way back. Now, enough of the talk, but let me say a few things that are important. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Nuvelive. Facebook, Nuve Live, Instagram, Nuve Live, or visit our, uh, our blog that is nuvelive.wordpress.com, which is soon launching. We shall let you know the details. And for where to get these and more podcasts, I mean, where you found this episode, I think is the most probable place that you can 
go and download now to back to today's uh, topic oh let me introduce it officially uh there is this thing called ignorance i believe ignorance is the state of uh, of not knowing certain things that you don't know or a state of being uh, a state of unknowing let me probably put it that way and uh, in hip hop or the industry mainly there is a lot of ignorance besides the arrogance that comes with it so many people are ignorant about what hip hop is uh that includes you who doesn't know that uh tantabolism or the dj dj culture is part of hip hop this also goes for you who doesn't know that break breaking or be dancing or be galling uh, uh, jig galling is part of uh, the culture and hip hop has about five elements knowledge rap graffiti uh, dance and tantabolism now this episode is goes for those who stereotype hip hop those who are very ignorant about it now first and foremost as lyric coach would put it because people do not know about the culture they stereotype it i would give you an example i had a conversation with someone uh about 3 months ago i was doing some work at a certain place and i, I started talking about uh, uh, facts about hip hop and this person tells me why wow, i really don't like that genre and you can never force me to like it of course i was enforcing them but these were the four things they had to say all they when they think of hip hop even ugandan hip hop or hip hop but on a global scale they think of sex they think of uh, money uh, they think of uh, snobbish character they think of bling and drugs but honestly a hip hop is bigger than that and i i notice that this person say this because of what they had been exposed to now the tv the radio would probably preach or even glorify or allow gives a platform to a certain attra- tracks or music that we can call trash we should call trash and it takes up the gen- the general view of what the whole culture is about uh, the, uh, to to put it even clearer is that there is what they call mainstream what goes mainstream tends to be taken as the real fact or the actual fountain of knowledge and which is wrong now i asked this person how much of your gandan hip hop do you know or how much of hip hop do you know and uh they gave me a really disappointing uh frown i mean the person went crestfallen they had really nothing to say about this now i i i, I, I it disturbed me that this person didn't really know anything about the genre or the little that they thought that they knew was actually the wrong info it, it, it disturbs me and it disturbed me then that a person can claim the culture is this and that and yet they don't have anywhere they can quote from they they don't have so much reference for it and uh, i was shocked I mean it all goes back to not knowing because if you say hip hop in Uganda is probably dead or it's not performing that is, that is like a serious joke if you say that then you're the one killing it because I I speak to people on a daily that's why Nouvelle Live was created or established to let people know about the the culture and ps we do, we do not only talk about hip hop we talk about poetry and spoken word and you see all these three things are related but because of uh, the ignorance of some people and who who develop 
feelings of hate because they do not know about the culture and they would want to rubbish it. No one forces the other to like a genre. But the only thing that would disturb us is when you claim that this genre is wrong. You would claim that this isn't right. You would claim uh, a number of things. Fal falsehoods, let me say. Let me put it that way. You know? It's, it's it's not nice and you know what causes this is the ill-informed uh, media the the journalists some of them who actually have bias uh, real critics aren't aren't present people don't want to say this is wrong and then this is right genuinely probably some blogs online there are all some stories in the papers I just paid for and the information that they pass out is not clear and it's not legitimate now the absence of outlets that would really talk about what this genre is about are really lacking and there were few that are there are not doing the job and uh, recently I read uh, a, a post a post of a writer I know who I I almost wanted to work with sometime this person writes an article yes it's good it's about the rainy sense of uh, hip hop in the country and stuff like that a very sweet uh, article that I read but here's one thing that I would I, do, I don't want to use killed me because you you think of violence as well I mean they they quote hip hop as a violent field genre anyway now this person writes that uh, I won't name the article from where it is but it, it would I wouldn't want to do that but it was so disturbing that the person quotes all right that Navi released a power the album last year in December but of course that was the the speculated title for the album but it was so clear that the album was named The Chosen which sold 8,000 copies in the first week honestly who missed that speaking of sales or units of albums uh, BTW Senelli said sold uh, 1,000 copies of Stories of Elevation. You should cop that. Yeah, that is news for you. Now, these people who are ill-informed about the genre would say just anything that they wish from a point of ignorance, and this ignorance uh, much makes makes the arrogance that they would have towards hip hop and rappers and everyone. And which is a bad thing. Now, if you say you know Uganda music, how much of hip hop music do you know? And I'm talking rap. You see, that's one question you should ponder about. Honestly, you know. And uh, and I'm on I'm on I'm not only blaming it on uh, the people out there who might not like the genre. Some people genuinely don't like the genre. And then and they don't say anything about it they just mind their business but then you will see these heads that will come out of nowhere uh, trying to accuse trying to create falsehoods uh, uh, and uh, from a point of ignorance it's so disappointing and if anyone remembers when Bana Motibwa released Tetubonga Nawe I saw a number of outlets there having different uh, titles and and writing all the negative stories that they could I mean hip hop is being given uh, about four inches of space to write about if you do the math that is really little you don't see articles that stretch to like three pages and yet we have to acknowledge that most of the hip hop artists in the country right now with albums out there or mixtapes have had the best packaging shout outs to price table shout outs to navi on the chosen album i mean Ryonga glorifier well packaged and i'm still asking how much of ug hip-hop do you know that's one question I, I won't say i know so much of it but every day i read and learn and that's one thing that most people do not do 
I was reading a, a, a certain ma- online magazine, an international magazine, and there is a member of uh, Zulu Nation. He had something to say. It was like, uh, before anyone gets involved, that is including rappers, get involved with hip hop, or before they pin down or open their mouth, they should at least read and find out about the genre. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm probably done with talking about uh, the people who are ill-informed about the genre and yet they are not part of it. Now, this thing also will work in two ways. They are rappers who are ill-informed. Yes, those are the kinds who will get uh, the pain and write stuff like um, swimming in these beaches and all that stuff. And that is all they know, first and foremost, and they are limited to that. But anyway, Ugandan uh, rappers, most of them have nice lyrics, but what some some uh, rappers are trying to do trying to relate to the music out there that they think sells is going that wrong way you know it, it's so disappointing that some rappers yeah they go to dope uh, studios they pay a lot of cash only to do trash music trust me i won't i won't review your music if it's trash honestly and i receive a number of that I just pay a, de- a, deaf, a deaf ear. Now I guess you know why sometimes I pay a deaf ear. If you're listening to this, you're a rapper and your music is really trash. I mean, let's come back to basics. Find out one, 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 one uh, element of hip hop that is really disregarded or undermined by mostly rappers and the fans is knowledge. Let's find out people. Information is out there. You claim that uh, you don't know the chosen the album by Navio, but you but you know his single crazy with Keiko. I mean, something is wrong. You need to find out. You need to know a number of these things. And uh, I mean, we're not blaming anyone, but this is a manifestation of dual hip hop ignorance and weed smoking rap music. I mean, no, I won't, I won't apologize. Right now, I'm so unapologetic. You can tell by the hyper spirit in me. But, well, we can put that aside. But, please, don't come to Baba Shop Conversations, which we know that are important. And uh, you try to rubbish others when you're not informed. And it's really hard to explain certain things to a people who a, a people who are not involved in hip hop and really do not know. I mean, the media is out there and it's sometimes feeding you on the wrong things. Ah, uh, man, I don't know what to say. I think it's about that time when I. Uh, I probably tell you a few new things that are out there. Hey, by the way, don't forget to vote for your candidates in the elections out there. Bana Montego has been trying so much to deliver revolutionary bars, you know. And I mean, someone will come out of the blue saying these rappers are doing nothing for society and they are on some other level. They they are not focusing on issues that are important well i just told you now uh benny black just released his uh new single featuring ac it's called beautiful day yeah and what more can i say thanks for being part of this episode and i just wanted to put to put that clear that to, to put it out clear for you for those who are ill-informed about hip-hop please stop stereotyping misogyny and all that stuff without you finding out knowing understanding the culture and this and that and also the rappers who do not know about the culture actually do not deserve the title of being called rappers they should do some sort of internship and we can't say we all know the knowledge 
but hip hop is made up of a community, different elements, different people, so that this person this person shares to this one, and then we build a genre, and that is important. That is the key thing. Don't 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 put ignorance as an excuse. Bryonga uh, did uh, a song called uh, "Glory Fire" because it's inspired by God and all that stuff. He did the track "Empisa," which is a very organic track featuring Senelli said the Nanduja. The tracks like "Not in My Country" by Enigma uh, featuring Don MC. These tracks speak about the country and stuff like that. There's so much music out there and you shouldn't blame anyone. Hip Hop Society just took place about one month, I don't know, like about two weeks or one week ago, if I'm not mistaken. Well, ignorance shouldn't be your excuse. And thanks for being part of the show. Follow us on Twitter at Nouvel Live, Twitter, Nouvel Live, Facebook, Nouvel Live. And well, you can hit us up on Instagram as well. It's one word, Nuve Live, N U V E Y L I V E. And I've been shown your host. See you in the next episode. And for me to you, reporting for Nuve Live. And a brand new smash from Benny Black playing the bra. I'm glad mama made 45, papa made 52, sis did nothing on her sweet 16. I know you're 17 now, but here's a sweet 16. It's a beautiful day, I put my troubles away, and I'm gonna enjoy my life. It's a beautiful night, music is right, I'm gonna enjoy my life. It's a beautiful day, I put my troubles away, and I'm gonna enjoy my life. It's a beautiful night, and the music is right, I'm gonna enjoy my life. About to quit, but the Sphinx convinced me not to. Now, black is on the label like whiskey. BMCG is where the beast be. Barrick on the beats is fly. Yeah, so is Frisbee. <laughs> So is that shit, you know, you know The bars from Mars like Bruno You can call us the brothers like who do used to be Each of us a victim now, my crew's been good to me I miss you G, but I always stay in contact And get the rotation, my songs play in contact I'm proud of myself, cause school is great too And my favorite nephew, he's now in grade two <laughs> I love my love life too I wish I could afford a ghost for my boo that will happen someday, what's the use stressing? I'd rather thank God for the few blessings.